Welcome to Board Game TV, Sci-Fi Saturday, and we're playing Level 7, Escape. Now remember, our three people made it to the elevator, but a new threat has arisen. So let's see what it is. Scenario 3, Level 5, The Hybrids. Though initially relieved to return to the safety of the elevator, you quickly realize it's nothing but a trap. Through the open grating in the car's roof, you spot several silhouettes of the gray alien things climbing down the shaft towards you. Just in time, the rising elevator jolts to a halt and the doors open to level 5. You burst into a tunnel, knocking over a weedy-looking scientist whose beady eyes peer out from behind thick glasses and the clear vinyl of his hazmat suit. When he sees you, he scrambles to his feet to flee, but, easily, but you easily overtake him in his bulky suit. Forcing him against the wall, you demand to tell you what the hell is going on in this place. He sneers and says, you're as good as dead already, you're just too stupid to know it. Fueled by fear, you slam your fist into his stomach and wrench the hood from his head. Exposed to the ammonia-laced atmosphere, he erupts into violent coughing. As you pull your fist back from the punch, he raises his hands defensively. Stop, he says no more, I'll tell you what you want to know. He falls against the wall, choking. He tells you he's a scientist. This place is a research facility built by the government as part of a deal made with the extraterrestrials that came to the Earth in the late 40s, seeking refuge. Led by the alien scientist no led by the alien, the scientist knows as Dr. Kronos, <clears throat> the creatures fled their world to escape a plague driven their race to extinction. In return for the secrets of the visitors' advanced technology, the government gave them sanctuary resources and access to the country's civilian population to use as test subjects. Dr. Kronos had come to Earth because he had discovered a similarity between DNA, human DNA and the genetic makeup of his own species, and humans are immune to the alien's plague. Dr. Kronos hopes to use human genetics to re-engineer his surviving kin and save his people. According to the scientists, you can thank Dr. Kronos and thousands of civilians who have unwillingly gone under his knife for everything from stealth technology to your smartphone. You ram your fist into the scientist's stomach again and raise the thought of human lives traded so callously. Then you yank him to his feet and demand he tell you how to get out of here. He tells you only one elevator on this level goes up, through an airlock connecting the two floors, but getting to it isn't enough. It's heavily guarded and only personal accompanied by elite guards can enter it. To you, this means that if you can get your hand on some of those elite guard uniforms, you might just be able to bluff your way through security. Suddenly, an unearthly howl echoes down the quarters, filling you with dread. The scientist smiles weakly and says, sounds like Kronos has released the hybrids. You don't waste time asking him what a hybrid is. You need uniforms now. All right, so <clears throat> we have to create strife between the aliens and the guards. Continue to progress the facility. To use the elevator to the next level, you need to disguise yourself in elite guard uniforms, but you have no way of taking down the elite guards currently wearing them. Your only chance is to get the hybrid monsters hunting you to turn, to the guard, turn on the guards. Hopefully the hybrids will leave enough pieces intact for you to put together usable uniforms and get a little closer to escaping the place. Okay, so we set aside the A-lift tile. It's in stack B. Now, we use the peaking rules for this game. And what that means is, is uh, stack A there, you explore normally. When we get to stack B, we peak. And if we get two of these on a single die roll, we get to grab one of the laps. We have six set aside. If we don't get our peaking done by the time that stack is out when we get to the third stack when we peak we just need one and we get to get one of the labs okay uh, each player starts with five vitality and one threat if you end your turn on tile with at least two other players you gain one threat we have two guards in the reserves but we're going to be more guards coming we have clones and we have our hybrid <clears throat> this guy right here Man, he's a doozy six and six as you can see Okay, guards start the scenario with zero fear. Clones and hybrids start the scenario with zero threat. When the first hybrid breaks free of the, its guards, guards' fear becomes five, clones' threat becomes three, and hybrids' threat becomes eight. Guards in this scenario are elite. You cannot perform attack challenges against elite guards, but you can still bull rush her out with them. When a hybrid kills an elite guard, place a random uniform marker on the tile with the word uniform facing up. That's these. Okay. <clears throat> A player on a tile with one or more uniform markers flips all those markers over and returns any that show bloody uniforms to the box. He can then pick up any number of the remaining uniforms as a free action. 
Each player can wear one uniform without counting it as a carrying item. <coughs> Each additional uniform he picks up counts as an item requiring a hand. <coughs> When a player first puts on a uniform, he loses two threat. The scenario uses the alien's own rules when the rules are peaking. All right. Uh, we have to raise our fear by one when we peek. Once three labs have been found, players no longer peek. When you find a lab, place two guards and a hybrid on that tile. These guards do not come from the reserves and do not go to the reserves if they are removed from play. They do not activate. The hybrid a activates according to the hybrid activation rules and the guards move with them. If one of these enemy groups activates on the same tile as a player, only the hybrid attacks. There are a lot of rules with this. In this scenario, the hybrid activation rules start as soon as a hybrid is on the map instead of starting the turn after. Before lockdown, which there really is no lockdown in this one. It said there was no lockdown. Uh, so, because we don't have any lockdown tokens. We have threat tokens. We have 24 or 23 of these for whatever reason. Uh, before lockdown, if a hybrid activates on a tile adjacent to a player with seven or eight fear, the hybrid kills the two guards and with it does nothing else. Return the guards to the box and place two random uniform markers on the tile. After a hybrid kills its guard handlers, all hybrids and guards activate according to the normal activation rules. The A lift is exit. When a player reaches it, he remains on the tile instead of being removed from the game. At the end of the turn, the players in the A lift can use it to escape if at least half of them are wearing uniforms. When this happens, they are removed from play. Okay. So we'll probably have to go over the rules a couple times, but <clears throat> for now, we can go ahead and get started. <clears throat> and uh, let me give everybody their adrenaline cards. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, he has a skill, subject 13, has Zen, which means at the start of your turn, you can raise or lower your fear by one. You can reroll all die for bull rush challenges. And then he has a plus one attack. Uh, scrounger, when you draw an item card, draw two cards, keep one and place the other. You can carry an additional item. She's egghead. She has better intelligence, less strength. Bookworm, less defense, better intelligence. And if you're not using a gun for attack challenges, you can reroll one double intelligence icon or one double speed icon. Okay, so let's get going. We'll start with subject 13. And we'll just move him here see what we got here well we have firing range Oof, we're gonna have two events here jeez well that's not good let's see what we get okay well we're not gonna spawn uh, oh we are going to spawn we're going to spawn a clone because we have a vent and we are using the fear rules so we put that there Okay, now let's see here. Uh, spawn a guard on the tile you just left. If your threat is three or higher, spawn two guards. Okay, well, uh, all right. Um, luckily, though, we have Zen, and so we, we'd lower his fear. So we're only going to put one guard here. Then we have this facility, gain two fear and put a locked door marker on any door on your tile. Okay, so fear goes up by two. And we'll put a locked door marker. On, I don't know, I guess we'll put it on the most downward. One, how about that? <clears throat> put that right there. And now the clone's going to activate, and he's going to attack. He gets three die. Of course, our fear goes up one for being attacked. And he two hits, and we have a defense of one. Um, so we have to lose one card. All right, that's fine. 
And that's the end of his turn. Okay, our female subject, she's going to try to outwit <clears throat> old boy so she can move. Let's see. Uh, lose one fear, so we'll lose a fear. And we'll gain intelligence, so that means she has two, three, four, five. Alright, she did it. Four, so she can move. And we'll move her here. And this is the incinerator. So nothing's going to happen there. And I guess we'll move her back. Do I have anything that boosts my speed? I might know. Okay, well. <clears throat> Alright, so that's not a good, good move. Okay, uh, that's the end of their turn. Let's draw an event. We're not going to get a spawn. And the clone's going to activate twice, as a matter of fact. Yikes. Well, we have the clone here. <clears throat> so I guess he's going to go ahead and attack. Alright, he does one. That's not going to beat our defense. That's fine. And then his second activation is three. Well, that's going to that's gonna cause us to lose two, two cards. So this guy's in trouble. Okay, so our subject, our male subject here, let's see what we can do. We can go doors that way. All right. He's going to try to outwit. Let's see here. Uh, we're going to, we're also going to lose a fear. And that's going to put us at two, four, five. Two, three, four. Okay. And he will move one. And we get uh, this place right here. Uh, so we'll do it like this. And he's going to get an item. Stimulants. Discard this card and raise your fear by one to gain one strength and speed until the end of your next turn. Okay. And we have a security event. <clears throat> so we're spawning a guard. We're going to spawn one here. Gain three fear or put a locked door, uh, locked door marker on a door on your tile that leads to an unexplored tile. Well, um, I guess I'll gain three fear. How about that? One, two, three. And we're not going to have an activation. Okay. Well, uh, now back to this guy here. And we will draw a card. And we're going to try to... I might as well try to kill this guy. Um, right now, I have one, two, three, four fight. And I can re roll. Well, let's see. I'll tell you what, I'll spin a card and lose a fear. I still have my fight bonus. So, here we go. Let's try to kill this clone. And I succeed, man. Wow, look at that. That was a good roll. So this clone is taken out. Okay. <clears throat> and I will go ahead and move this way. And let's see here. <clears throat> I have this tile. Ah, man, two more events. And this is the boiler room. So let's see what we get. All right, we have a clone activation, a spawn. So I, that one I just killed is just going to respawn there. Gain one fear, place a barricade marker on, on any door on your tile. Hmm. Uh, it says I, ha I have to do it. I mean, there's no if, ands, or buts. So, all right. All right, 
let's see here. I guess the only place I'll put it is here. Okay, and then we have uh, pass a two speed challenge or gain one threat. <clears throat> well, shoot, my speed is two. And I did it, two. <clears throat> and now the clone's gonna activate, he's going to attack my guy. Oof, he did three. So I lose two. And so I am knocked out in the infirmary. So it's put me there. I'm going to lower my vitality and I'll lower my fear back down. All right, well, that's the end of that. Okay, so um, it's girl's turn. We got to try to outwit this guy. Um, she's not good at fighting, so that's not a problem. I do have a plus one intelligence. <clears throat> So I have five, so we're gonna try to outwit. And yeah, we successful. So what I will do is I will move up one. Oops. Yeah man, with the I must be hitting the two vent cards there. This is from the expansion, so that's why it does that. Firing range. Okay. see what we get we're not spawning anything we have is each player chooses to either discard two adrenaline cards or gain one threat uh, hmm I'll, I'll gain he won't because he's in the hospital so but we'll gain some threat uh, gain two fear or move back to the tile you just left. I'll gain two fear. And then we have a guard and a clone activation. Um, guard one. We'll move here. Um, well, actually, I can move guard one. It's basically a tile. I'll move him here. Guard two will attack. He gets two fists. I have a defense of nothing, so I have to lose two. Dang. Okay. And then the clone will move, and the clone will move here. Okay, so it's our guy's turn there. With <laughs> two clones on him. And let's see, he got attacked, so his fear's up one. Ugh. I play a card. I'm gonna play lose one fear, and I'm gonna move my fear down. I'm still gonna have two, four, five intelligence now. So see if I can outwit. I do. And let's see where I'm going to move. Well, I guess I'll move here. And let's see here. Put that like that. And I have we have another two vents, so no spawn. Thank you. Spawn a guard on a tile. Pass a three. Okay, I can't spawn a guard on my tile. My reserves are two, so pass it to place a character on your tile you just left. No, I don't want to do that. All right, and the facility one is pass a two speed challenge or fall down. Okay. I will use another adrenaline card to gain a fear, but I have now three speed. Okay, I passed. And then the clone activates. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, it's our boy here. Who uh huh. let's see, we have to choose a vent for him to come out on. Um Is there a vent on any of these? There is no vent on that one. 
There is no vent on this one. Yeah. No vent on that one. Um, hmm. So it's one of these, and I'm kind of stuck. Unless I can do a challenge, I think I will. I'll try to uh, do that locked door. Let me get my cards here. <clears throat> And try to try to destroy that locked door. I mean, I'm, at, I'm at a good strength, so <clears throat> let's see here. Um, right now I have a strength of three. I can lose a fear and I'll have a strength of four. I think I'll do that. I'll just get rid of this card and I'll lose it and I'll have a strength of four. I'll try to defeat that locked door. Okay, that was good. It's four. So I can get rid of that. Okay, and then I'm going to move. <clears throat> uh, that's right, we have to do our peak. see what car did I get rid of well, it didn't give me any high intelligence I do have an intelligence of three right now <gasps> ah look at that I peaked and I was successful <clears throat> so I will grab a lab card okay now it says uh, uh when you find a lab place two cards and a hybrid on the tile okay so put the hybrid on the tile and we're gonna place two guards that do not come from the reserves. Remember, they don't come from the reserves. And if they die, <clears throat> and they don't activate either, I, I believe, if I remember that right. Um, it says, uh, uh, they do not activate the hybrids activate according to the hybrid activation rules and the guards move with them. Okay. Um, if one of these enemy groups activates as a player, only the hybrid attacks. Uh, in this scenario, the hybrid activation rules are started. A hybrid is on the map. Okay. All right. Let me, let me check that out real quick and see what, what that means. Because I have to look that up. Okay. Um, I have a problem though. The problem is, is that uh, the hybrid is going to activate. You see this symbol? He has a fist symbol. So what I do after all the other guys have activated, I'm going to roll a die, and he's going to activate however many times I roll that symbol. He'll move, and the guards will move with him. The problem is, if I can get my fear to level seven. He kills these guys automatically, and we get the uniform stuff. The problem is, my guy, his, his fear is two <laughs> right now. It is not very high. Uh, I can raise it, and let's see, and I can gain a fear. I can get it to five, maybe, but that's about it. So, I think what's going to happen is... If I go in and get attacked... The guards aren't going to attack me. The hybrid will if he activates, which he will. So, um, if I can get him, well, if I get attacked, my fear will go up by one. I can raise my fear one, and then maybe I can survive that good enough. Get the hell out of there and then raise my fear. I've peaked. I don't have to move. I mean, I peaked. There's the tile. <clears throat> so I'm trying to think about what I want to do. I can move in there. You know, I might as well. Um, or I can move in there and do an intelligence. You know what? This is what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise my fear. I'm going to move in there, and I'm going to have to do an outwit challenge. 
is fine. And I was successful. Okay. So I can move again because there's no events on this tile. So <clears throat> I'm going to do that. And technically, I can peek again. So <clears throat> let's see. Okay, I was not successful that time. So we're going to pull from stack B. And there's not going to be an event on this one. I found the A lift though. So here's the A lift, <laughs> which is good. So this is no this is where we got to go to to exit. Okay. So um I think what I'll do <clears throat> Well, oh, well, okay. All right. So that's fine. So then what I'll do is I will gain a fear to uh, increase my speed well 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 I don't know okay well hold on I want to I was gonna stay here okay I'll tell you what I'm going to gain a fear to increase my speed, okay? Then I'm going to gain some more fear. I'm going to gain two more. I'm going to play this one. Now that's going to put me up at six, okay? And I'm going to try a challenge, and I can re-roll because of that card. And um, outwit these guys to move back over here. Okay. Oh yeah, I get to play that one down. All right, all right, so that's fine. So I can move here now. The end of my turn is done, and I only have now. I have to survive an onslaught with this guy, uh, basically. Um, if I sacrifice myself, wait a minute. If I, it says, if one enemy group act, wait a minute. That's okay. Ah, uh, man, let's see. Um, if a higher on a tile adjacent to a player with seven or eight fear. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so what I can do, <laughs> I know this is crazy. I have fear six. I can... Um, I can't. I can't. Okay. Well, I can't, I can't voluntarily kill myself. Okay. So that's that's it. That's it. That's it. It's the end of the turn. It's the end of the turn. Let's do an event. And there's still a way for me to do it because when I get attacked, my threat is going to go up, and that technically happens before the attack. So I will be seven eight, and then he will kill those guards. They kill me too. But all right. So we have an event. Nothing's going to spawn. Nothing activates. Okay, the hybrid, we roll a die. <clears throat> all right, this is, all right, so this is a problem here. Okay, so he's gonna activate one time. All right, and he's going to attack me. <clears throat> and that's going to raise my threat to seven, okay? All right, so what's gonna happen is, it says, before lockdown, and we are not at lockdown. If a hybrid activates on a tile adjacent to a player with seven, ah, oh, shit. All right, he does activate. He activates, and I wasn't seven. <sighs> My fear was two. I raised it to three. I did the speed of four, raised it one. I did two more six. That was all the stuff I had to do. Yeah. So he's going to kill me, basically, is what he's going to do. I'm pretty sure he's going to kill me. So, yeah, he gets six attack. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. So, yeah. All right. So, all right. I'm going to the infirmary again. My vitality is now down to two, three. My fear comes down to three. And that's it. Okay. 
Alright, now he gets to activate again, actually. And he'll move. I guess to here. <clears throat> Alright, now it's old girl's turn. Let's see now. If I want to. Now her fear is four. Okay, so that's actually not bad. I can Let's see here. Everything is gain three fear. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Gain three fear. So that's gonna put me at seven. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. If I just don't do anything, if I just don't move, that's what's gonna happen because it says the hybrids, uh, if a hybrid activates on the tile adjacent, and he will activate on tile adjacent to her, the hybrid kills the two guards with it and does nothing else. Okay. So what's going to happen is, is that's fine. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to move. Um, I don't have to. I'm not going to. I can peek. Okay. So let's peek and see. Now she has an intelligence of two, four. So let's peek and see if I get a double. I did not get a double. So that's fine. So this stack right here, this one's going here. It's the morgue. Okay. So um, now they're they're gonna we're doing an event. All right. No spawn. Nothing. The guards gonna activate. So we have the guards first. Now, um, as of now. So just the guards are going to move into here because he has the higher threat. Okay, so they'll move into there. All right, now he will activate. Okay, now he's going to kill these two guards. There, we take them out of the game. They're done. Okay, so now what's going to happen is um, the guards. <clears throat> All right, so and the return the and. Put two random uniform markers on the tile. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Put two random uniform markers on the tile. We do this. All right, so that's that. Okay. All right. Return the guards to the box. Okay. After hybrid, now we're on lockdown. After hybrid, all hybrids and guards activate according to normal activation rules. Okay. So it doesn't look like. Well, we'll see. Alright, uh, the A lift is the exit. Okay. Alright, so. That's fine. He would attack. Now, he would have got one more activation, to be honest with you, because remember, we rolled two. So, with his first activation, he went and killed them. He did nothing. Then his second activation, who has the higher fear? She does, of course, because she's at seven. So, he's going to move here. Cause he activates twice. Remember, I rolled double fist, and he's going to attack her. Let's see what happens. And he does one, two, three, four, five, six. So he knocks her the hell out to the infirmary. So she's going to the infirmary. Okay. Her vit fear comes back down to three. Her vitality to four, and she loses that threat. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right, so that is that. Right, that's not that bad. Okay, that's fine. He gets, all right, so our boy here is with two guards. There's one clone there, and it doesn't say anything about, um, I can't check the uniforms with the clone on that tile. It, you know, so I, I don't know. Um, the first thing I gotta do is outwit these guys. So I think what I'll do is I will lose one fear. It puts me at five. Gains an intelligence. So it's five intelligence. Let's roll that. 
Okay, so I outwit them. That's no problem. So I'll move one, and I actually have to stop here because of this stupid roving event thing. Dang. Yeah, I'll have to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. And we have clones are going to spawn. Um, clone number two. Where's clone number two? He would be... Uh, their pack limit is two. I guess if he's not spawning in here... There's no vent there. Oh, he spawned right here. Okay. Okay, well that actually kind of may work out to my advantage because now remember the clones and the uh, guards will attack each other. Choose a guard and roll a number of dice that equal to your threat plus one. Activate that guard once for each intelligence icon you roll. Twice. He's going to activate twice. <clears throat> Okay, well, his first activation is going to be to try to kill that clone. He fails. So his act second activation will be try to kill it again. And this time he does. He kills it. Okay, so that clone is out. And we did that. We're not going to have anybody else activate. Except for the hybrid. And he's going to activate once. And he's going to come down here. Back into that room. Okay, well, let me check something about searches. Because I want to see if I can do it with, with those things in there or not. Alright, well, it doesn't say that I I can't pick them up, so even with monsters on there. So what I want to do is, mm, um, Thirteen's coming back. He's got a vitality of three. So we'll give him his cards. And the closest vent is here. So we will put him back here. And I'm going to move him one, and we get to flip these over. And there's a good uniform. Oh, two good uniforms. Okay, well, that's that's good. So it says as a free action, I can pick one up, which I will do. And it says I can carry one, uh, an extra one. So I will, I will do that. I'll carry an extra one. And now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to outwit um, this guy and let's see here I will play this this is lose two fear and gain two intelligence so my intelligence right now is one two three four five Okay, that's, I just made it three, but that's fine. And so I'm going to move here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play this. I'm going to gain a fear. And I'm going to move one more turn. And then I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to use my Zen. Oh, that's right. I, could, I should have done that. Well, never mind. Don't worry about that. Okay, and that's it. We'll do an event. Okay, now we're going to spawn a guard. Now we are at our reserves, so we're not spawning any more guards. Okay, um, we have clone activation. Now, clone will move here, and then the hybrid will move one time here. Okay, that's actually a really good thing. Okay, so let's, let's get that done. Next is the female. She comes back, and we'll give her her four cards. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to move her one, and what we're going to do is he's going to trade. We're going to give her a uniform. So we have half our people are like that. It's fine, and that's going to be the end of the turn. So it's having our vent. All right, we're not spawning any more guards, uh, but the guards will move, activate. Uh, so, um, he move, this is a crowded house in here. <laughs> That's fine. And that is the end of that turn, except for the hybrid. He gets two activations. Okay, 
So what's going to happen is <clears throat> he's going to kill these two guards. I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, let's see here. Um, he had six die. So let's see what happens. Okay, he does one, two, three, four. So he kills one guard. And his second activation. He kills the other guard. Okay, so both guards are dead. <clears throat> and, and the reason is, is because, remember, the guards have a fear of uh, five. My guy's fear is four. So he, he's going to attack the ones with the higher, higher uh, fear. So, okay, he did that. Now it is his turn. So let's see here. He's going to gain a card. It's a speed card, and I'm going to use these things. So I'm going to try to outwit. I have four dice. I was successful. So I can outwit. I'm going to move one, two. And then what I'll do is I'll discard my stimulants. It gives me an extra speed, and I'll move here. All right, next up is the event. <clears throat> nothing spawns, nothing happens. Clone activation. So the clone, of course, will move here, and that hybrid is going to move none. So that's actually good. Okay, uh, here we go. <clears throat> His turn. He has a uniform. <clears throat> He's going to move on the A lift. It says, when a player reaches it, he remains on there. At the end of any turn, the players in the A lift can use it to escape if at least half of them are wearing uniforms. Okay, well, uh, not on the A lift yet. So we're going to do another event. We're going to spawn a clone. Where are we spawning it? Well, it's going to spawn right here. Here's a vent. Okay. And then that's it. And then we're going to have a guard activation, but we have no guards. So we're getting extremely lucky. Okay, so this old girl's turn. Of course, she's got a uniform, so she's going to move on to there. All right. So, um, and that's it. We're going to get another event. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to roll to see if... A hybrid activates. He will. He'll move one, two. Ooh, getting close. All right, last turn here. If, if we can survive this, they can escape. He does. And um, he moves there. And we have our, our event. No spawn. Guard activates. The hybrid doesn't activate. And so now we can escape on the elevator with our uniforms because over half of us and it says at the end of any turn the players in the A-Lift can use it to escape if at least half of them are wearing uniforms okay so wow we didn't do much exploring this game I mean right off the bat we got lucky I must have chose two good ones that one wasn't bloody that one's bloody bloody and yeah okay so I I, I got lucky <laughs> we were able to find a lab quick we were able to get dude to kill the guards, get the uniforms, pick the right ones, and we got lucky. So, yeah, I've, I may have made a few mistakes on this one. Uh, the rules aren't exactly the clearest, but I'll take it. You know, hey, hey learn from your mistakes. <clears throat> but I think we got mostly right. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And then next time, you know, we our, our guys made it. So, they're on level 5 now. They'll end up on level four. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, see you then. Have fun.